this video, we'll discuss picking and narrowing a topic and writing a research question. Picking a topic is one of the first things you need to do when preparing a research assignment. When deciding on a topic, it's important to think carefully about what you want to learn. If you can land on a topic that's interesting to you and that piques your curiosity, you'll find the whole research process a lot more interesting. In many cases, your professors will provide a variety of topics to choose from, like addiction, body image, or climate change. To choose a topic you find interesting, think about recent conversations, social media posts, news articles, lectures, videos, or books that you have enjoyed. Or think about topics that would be helpful to explore for your future career. What topics have you found interesting? Whatever you do, don't get too stuck at this stage. Start planning early so you can come back later and choose a different topic if needed. Next, you'll need to define the scope of your project. In other words, what aspect of this topic would you like to focus on? Let's say, for example, you decide you're interested in learning more about healthy eating. There are tons of studies discussing every aspect of this topic, from advertising to food chemistry. You can't cover them all. We'll need to narrow this broad topic to a reasonable scope. Let's take a closer look at a few strategies you can use. First, check the assignment requirements. The rubric and assignment description will help you determine how broad or narrow your topic should be by answering questions like, how long does your essay or report need to be? How many sources are required? What kind of sources should you look for? As much as you might like to, you can't solve world hunger in a thousand words with five sources, but you can look at the impact of free breakfast programs in urban schools. Next, brainstorm a list of subtopics. Write down everything someone could talk about related to healthy eating, motivation, developing good habits, diet and nutrition, attitudes towards healthy foods, and the list goes on. Brainstorming can spark new connections and help you dig deeper into the topic to discover more interesting subtopics than you first thought. If you get stuck, browse your course outline or read a few encyclopedia entries and news articles for inspiration. Once you have a long list, identify one or two subtopics that look interesting to you. Search the library or do a quick Google search to test out a few subtopics to make sure there are lots of interesting articles about your topic. Next, consider the three W's, who, where, and when. You don't have to narrow your topic by all three, but it's a good idea to think these through and decide if any of these concepts are important for your topic. Let's start with who. Is there a population group you would like to study? Maybe an age group like toddlers or adults, a cultural or religious identity, or a life stage such as retired seniors or working mothers. For example, you might ask, how do parents affect the healthy eating habits of children? Next, where? Is there a geographic region you would like to study? In the library, we collect articles from around the world. So if you want to do your research on studies from India, from China, from Australia, or from Canada, you can find them here. Other geographic regions to consider include rural or urban settings, mountain or maritime regions, and the like. For example, you might ask, what factors affect healthy eating choices in rural communities? Finally, when? Is there a time period you would like to study? For example, you could look at a historical time period or maybe how a specific discussion or topic has evolved over time. Generally, you'll be looking for recently published sources, whether they're talking about a historical event or not. For example, you might ask, how did the diet of the Anishinaabe differ from the diet of the Cree before European contact? Once you've narrowed your topic to an appropriate scope, the next stage is to write a research question. Research questions can be really helpful for focusing your research topic and clearly defining the scope. Your research question should be open-ended and neutral. In other words, avoid simple yes or no responses and avoid looking at just one side of an argument. You can start with a broad question like, what factors influence healthy eating choices? And later, you might want to narrow your topic further by looking at just one factor for healthy eating, or by looking at a specific population group or a geographic region, and so on. If needed, identify a research question for each subpoint or argument that you plan to make in your essay. For example, if your research question is, how do free breakfast programs impact academic outcomes for elementary students? Your subpoint questions might be, how does nutrition affect academic outcomes? And how often do elementary students experience a lack of nutrition in their diets? 
Research questions are the springboard for your search for sources. So if you're getting stuck with your search, go back and modify your research question. Keep in mind, the research process can be messy. Picking and narrowing your topic, writing your research question, and searching for sources is not always a linear process. In many cases, you will refine your topic as you search for sources. It's okay to come back and modify your topic as you do your research. So as you start to embark on this journey, be sure to start planning your research well in advance to leave lots of time to adjust your plans. And remember, the library is here to help.